All right, Professor Cleveland, you've been following this along. You've been following along with this story very closely. Talk to me about your reaction because you had a very uh, emotional reaction to this on Twitter when you went through these transcripts when they were first released. Absolutely. So I read through the transcript and I was mortified at what our country did to General Flynn. If you, and I, I beg Americans to read it, if you read the transcript, General Flynn is exactly the type of man we want leading our country. He was talking with the Russians and making clear, look, we have things we differ on, but we're in the fight of terrorism together. He said, let's not get this to be a tit for tat. We saw the Obama administration saying that they're going to expel and close down the embassy and kick out the Russians. Flynn said, you know what, don't come back and kick out a bunch of Americans so that then we have to retaliate. And it continues on with each person being the hard guy. We have always talked about the need for diplomacy. And yet here we have someone who's saying, you know what, once President Trump is inaugurated, let's sit down and we'll talk about things. Let's not escalate things and start kicking out the American ambassadors. That is what we want. That is what we want in the country leading us. I was horrified when you actually read the transcript. Right, and I read the transcript after you posted it. And I, I think the point that you make is, ex is extremely insightful when you say the sanctions that the U.S., and that means the Obama administration at the time, levied against Russia were different than the expulsion of the Russian diplomats and the FBI knew this, even if everyday Americans might not recognize the distinction between the two, the FBI knows the difference and they did not differentiate. 